Yeah, I mean, Illumination, worst case, I feel like Illumination is going to have good animation in their movies, right? Like, like that, I think, is a positive. So with that being said, chat, are we ready? Could you please type a one in chat? If you are ready for my live reaction slash breakdown of the Mario movie, of which I am already pretty hyped for. I will say, like, I'm not going into this one of those people that's like, oh, this movie's going to be trash, blah, 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 blah. No, I'm a pretty positive guy. I, I think this is going to be a pretty fucking good movie. Nintendo isn't going to make... It's a big deal Nintendo's making a Mario movie, right? It's a big deal. So I am fairly hyped for it. That being said, right here seems to be where it goes, where the animation started. I like fa I was fast forwarding during the pre-stream, like 10 seconds a pop. And this seems to be where the Nintendo Direct animation goes. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's go. All right, already right off the bat, incredible animation on this Nintendo Direct site. No, I'm just fucking around. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stop it. I want to watch it. I want to watch it. Wait, where's the, Where's my? Where's my sound? I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. What's going As on, Miyamoto? As previously mentioned, in today's Nintendo Direct, we'll reveal the first trailer for the Super Mario Brothers animated movie for the very first time. This Nintendo. I wish they make a live action one too. Broadcast simultaneously at New York Comic. Uh, just one thing about Miyamoto. I still think he should retire, but he's like my hero. Con. Hello, New York Comic Con. While I think he should retire, he's my hero. It's been nearly 40 years since the original Mario Brothers game was released in <laughs> Japan. Today, lots of people around the world Did are playing Did he say 40 Mario years? Games. Thank you all so much. Fuck me in the dick. <laughs> Finally, the world of Super shut Mario up, Brothers dick. will become an animated movie. We've been you shut, you shut your mouth. With Chris you shut your mouth. Illumination for a long time, from brainstorming and all the way through production. The time flew by as we were having fun figuring out how to depict the Super Mario characters and world. Now, I'd like to hear from Chris-san, my good friend and great partner for the movie. I'm so excited about Let's this. Let's bring him in. Chris-san. I feel like if Miyamoto's you, like Miyamoto really involved, it'll be pretty good. I am speaking on behalf of our directors, Michael Jelinek. I want Miyamoto to call me Pusan. Aaron Horvath and the entire Illumination crew of artists. When I tell you that producing the Super Mario Brothers movie with What's you that thing right and behind your team him? at Nintendo has been an absolute privilege. Our crew is filled with Mario fanatics and they're bringing the very best of their talent to this film every day. Uh, Next, this man's we, got we beautiful animation. eyes. We're knee deep into lighting and compositing. Pretty blue eyes Composer right Composer Brian Tyler heads to the scoring stage in just I 11 I see the green days. minion, but on the left. He's been Is that like a minion hand thing? Hand it Koji looked like Marble Kondo Madness at first, but it's not. To integrate classic themes from the game into the film score. Miyamoto-san, it's been over seven years since we first started talking about making this movie together. Seven years. And it is thrilling to finally be here to show the very first look at footage with Mario fans wow. at Nintendo Direct and at New York Comic Con. Miyamoto-san, shall we go ahead and introduce some of our cast? Yes. Okay, Chris-san. Now, I'll introduce two of the stars from this movie. Like, seriously, I would, I would bust Both a nut if he called me Both of them Nintendo Pusan. games and made this into a really fun movie. Are you ready? Yes. Uh, growing up, man, I spent hours of my life stomping Koopas in the original Mario Brothers this is a... arcade game. All right, he's not... Local laundromat. He's and not giving me super confidence Nintendo, right now. I played that, I mean, uh, maybe years of my life. Uh, it's it's an honor, truly, to, to be able to speak. The way he said Koopas didn't give me those memories. Didn't give me the most confidence. It was like he had to remember what it what it was. It's been a lifelong. That's all I'm saying. That's fine. Um, that uh, that that dream, like all dreams, faces one critical challenge. Dude, he's fucking As Lego man know, and Mario. I must face off against an utterly ruthless scene stealer. Every great hero needs a diabolical enemy. 
and I promise you, I could not have been paired with the more perfect king of the Koopas, Bowser, and my friend, the great and hilarious, supremely talented Mr. Jack Black. Okay. That didn't seem authentic, right? That didn't. I'm not saying he's never played Mario. Every human has played Mario, but that didn't seem like authentic amount of right. You know, that's all I was saying. That's all I'm saying. All right. I'm not trying to hate on Chris Pratt. I want to like Chris Pratt again. I want to bring back Mouse Rat. I want to like him again. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But it didn't feel great. Now Jack Black's gonna make us feel great because that's what he do. Jack Black could make me feel good about murdering my mom. You know what I mean? I feel like he's, I feel like Chris Pratt no, is nervous. I feel like he's very nervous addressing Mario fans right now. That's all. That's, he just feels like he's Mario. Yeah. Addressing Mario fans. And, and, and you know what? Here's the thing. I don't need an actor to play Mario who plays Mario. Does that make sense? I don't give a fuck how much Mario he's played, really. You know what I mean? I don't need to, I don't need that. I'm just saying... That felt nervous to me. Or he's high. Thank you, Chris. He is definitely high, but Chris, not but nervous. I can't let you have all the fun. Now it's time for us to make this moment all about me. We're all here for this. have been about playing Mario. I've been preparing. Look at all this Koopa muscle I packed on. And this flowing mane doesn't just appear overnight. Do you have any idea how long it took he me to does learn how to breathe fire? Kind of look I like had to go a real learn life. Gene Simmons of Kiss. <laughs> he does kind of look like a real life Bowser, though. Like even like this. It does. Does he not? Like if Bowser did turn into a human, right? This is kind of what I feel like he it would look like. And all this yeah. hard work's been worth it, though. I am so proud to have been able to collaborate with you and Miyamoto-san, as well as the entire Nintendo... I think he says, Jack Black's son. ...and you Illumination think he calls him that? team I'd on freak the out. cinematic experience. One that will make its mark on Mario fandom forever. Much love. Peace out. <laughs> Thank you, Chris-san, Jack-san. Jack-son, right, he does call Thank him Jack-son. Thank you all for waiting. I don't know why I thought he'd say Jack Blackson. Wait, is it happening? Okay. I fucking love this already. <laughs> Open the gates. Ooh, love this voice. Love this voice. <laughs> that is but a taste of our fury. <laughs> do you yield? <laughs> I do not. I finally found it. Now who's gonna stop me? <laughs> Okay. Okay. Sorry. I'm not going to pause again, but I love this so far. The voice is inter or the the face is interesting. And give him a little bit more butt. Please give him more butt. What is this place? Do not touch that mushroom. You'll die. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that one's perfectly fine. Come on, Mario. 
Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. Okay, that voice is not bad. That voice is not bad. That voice is not bad. I, I, I like the toad was amazing. That Mario's not bad. I want to thank all of you for being part of this moment. Oh my with us. God. And we're excited to share even more footage in the coming months. I'm looking forward to it too. Wait, did it say April 7th? Oh, that's supposed to be my right in the middle of my subathon. I don't know what we're going to have to... I don't know. We'll figure something out. We'll figure something out. What do you think will happen during Mario's adventure in the Mushroom Kingdom? Production of the movie is going well. This is, Currently, this like great. with any Nintendo game, we're working on the finishing touches. I hope you're looking forward to the next trailer. It'll be a great experience watching the Super Mario Brothers movie in movie theaters. You'll get to see the Mushroom Kingdom I love on the this. big screen. Look closely and you'll spot things in all sorts of places. This film can be enjoyed by people of all ages, so I hope you'll get to a movie theater and cheer for Mario. Nope. That's all for Cheering today. For Bowser. We'll see you next spring in movie theaters. Thank you. Okay, well, let's go back. Let's go back, chat. Wow, that looks right. That looks really good, though. Okay, this animation's sick. All right, press the start button. Let's break this down. Let's break this down. Okay, what are the penguins called? The penguin? Do the penguins have a? I should know this. I should know this. They're just penguins, right? They're just penguins. All right, I'm glad they're just penguins. I was like, I was like, do they have like a weird Nintendo name? Like how they don't call fireballs fireballs? Yeah. All right, right off the bat, I think right off the bat, we gotta say the animation itself looks very good, right? Like this fireball dropping is attractive. Right? And it's just sizzling. And then this flying Koopa base is fucking gangster. Right? This feels powerful. You know what I mean? Like it feels dangerous. This feels more dangerous than like anything Bowser's done ever in a video game. <laughs> Yeah, it's got a lot of big dick energy. It's got big Bowser energy going on right now. Big Koopa energy here. Yeah. It feels like he's a king of Koopas. Also, um, to be fair, like this isn't a floating ship. This is a, a whole goddamn island he's floating around, which is powerful to me, right? Some high, high good technology. I'm already rooting for Bowser in this movie. Bucket of Jug, thank you for 19 months. I feel like that was a missed opportunity to be a chain chomp. Just saying. I like the anchor. It anchors down. Just knocking, knocking stuff over. And then look at the, the long shot here where you get the really good like scale of how large and intimidating and lava filled this Bowser Island that he's moving on is. It's a badass flying fortress. This is the most adult thing I've ever seen in Mario. Like right here. This like 
This is kind of like... This feels dangerous, right? It's like a Bowser Death Star. That's the best way to put it. Yeah, it's a Bowser Death Star. And I kind of love it. Yeah, he's got the volcano in the back where it looks like he's kind of living. The, the Bowser head with the lava falling out in the back. Like, oh, hold on. I think I can... Can I... Can I, um... I might be able to... Draw on this. Okay, yes. All right, here we go, chat. Right here, right here, we got the Bowser haze, uh, Bowser, sorry, Bowser face leaking the lava like down into this. Like that's, that's a gangster thing. This looks like a nice final boss area, doesn't it? Like, doesn't this feel like somewhere you'd fight a final boss in there? Um, the collateral damage of whenever he lands is gangster as hell. Um, looks like right here, poop deck, you know, you got a little area you can hang out on. I'm assuming though most people are flying inside of this. This might not even be his base. I'm, I'm assuming this is going to be his base. Yeah, this, I would very, very, very much like to see this. This or something like this in a game. Right? Like, that would be really cool. I like this a lot. Um, also, the little penguin kingdom. So, I, I kind of I think the vibe might be right now. Um, Bowser is going to different kingdoms. Eventually, one of them will be the Mushroom Kingdom. But apparently, Mario's not going to be doing shit to help these poor penguin people. What are these... What's going to happen to these poor penguin people here? Okay. Next up. Behold. Kamek. Is, isn't Cam Kamek has the absolute most perfect voice of what I thought Kamek sounded like? Does that make sense? Like, Kamek sounded like it had a whiny, kind of screechy, nerdy, I learned, I spent a lot of time learning magic in school instead of learning how to throw hammers. Like a frail 80-year-old? Yes. Yes. Kamek's, Kamek's voice is amazing. Behold, the king of the Koopas! And, uh, so right here, they exit. Yo, Labe Beat, thank you for the five gift subs. I greatly appreciate it. So right here, they've landed the ship, and they've all exited the ship at this point. Like, they skipped a little ahead. Because this is the front, front of the ship, so they've exited the ship. This isn't, like, on top of the ship or anything. Uh, but you see here, uh, all of these aren't regular Koopas. Uh, oh, wait, here we go. Like, these guys in the front aren't regular Koopas. So we got in the front... Hammer Brothers, and then this line right here is just Koopas, 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 Koopas. So Hammer Brothers with the knee, you can tell by the knee pads. That's, they get the job because they, they're they on their knees a lot, if you know what I mean. Um, and then we just got a group here. But this one's interesting. This guy's got a, uh, this guy's got a elbow pad. This guy doesn't. This guy does. So that's a little interesting. I don't know. Uh, also, some of them have spears. That seems new. Yeah, that seems new. I've never seen a Koopa with a spear, but I very much would like that in a ROM hack. Yes. Uh, checkpoint flags. Uh, okay, hear me out. They go, they conquer... And then they raise this Bowser flag, right? They raise the Bowser flag in these areas where they conquer. And then Mario is going to, you know what I mean? Take the flag down. Uh, Kamek's got his nice staff right here, the glasses. Do you think these goggles go back? Do you think they have a strap on them or are they just goggles? That I'm curious about. 
Yeah. I'm doing wonderful. Thank you for asking. Davis, thank you for 69 months. Nice. Kamek looks so good. Love Kamek. Okay. Uh, second thing. I gotta back this up a little bit. Look at these look at these Koopas. They are in line. This is a this is a bona fide army in this particular movie. This is not lacks the days of Koopas. This is a bona fide army. Something else I should mention. No, no, uh, I didn't see any Goombas or anything. Yeah, I don't see any Goombas or anything like that. Uh, big Empire Energy, Super Empire Energy. Uh, do we see? I don't. I can't see any wings on the back. That's a little like, a little janky here. Oh wait, there's some wings on this guy. There's some wings on these two right here at the edge. Those look like Paracoopas. In line. This is an in line army. Love this shot. Love this shot. Love this shot, too. Because, okay, so now we're getting a good look here. We got some Bullet Bill shooters. We got a line of Bullet Bill launchers here. Um, like, the way he's organized his army is a very strategic, medieval style of organization. You know? Looks like we got our peons in the front, and we hit them with the bullet bills, and I'm assuming these are going to be like your, your, hammer, your hammer brothers, your boomerang brothers back here, really. Yeah. And they're also, like, in formation, on point. They know what to do. This is a heavily trained army here. <laughs> Also, okay, also, this is a great shot right here. This looks like a Hammer Brother that's fucking terrified of Bowser. And it might be because Bowser took this motherfucker's eye right here. But look at this thing this guy's got. Clearly, like, uh, a bit of an extra warrior. We've got the distinctive eye patch. I feel like this Koopa, this Koopa, maybe like a burn mark right here. Am I wrong? Is this like a burn mark? This Koopa. No, he's not a spiny. Look at his back. It's like a spiny piece of armor, but look at his back right here. Not a spiny. No, no spines on the back. Yeah. This Koopa's been through some shit, right? This Koopa's mini boss energy. That's a good way to say it. He, he's a red shell. Doesn't jump off. Yeah, he doesn't jump off. Red shell, but like this one, I feel like could probably be a talking Koopa right here. Like this one, we're gonna see be a kind of a main opponent of Mario throughout this because he's clearly a badass warrior. You don't lose, you don't put an eye patch on someone and not make them a character of some sort. Except for that one guy in an eye patch in Cobra Kai. I didn't really understand that, but yeah. Yeah, he's smiling too. He's not scared of what's about to happen. He's into it. But the fact that this guy's scared means I feel like Koopa might be ruling with a bit of an iron fist, right? A bit of an iron fist. Yeah, the only Koopa without a helmet. You're actually right. You're, you're totally right about that. He is also the only Koopa without a helmet. Uh, but it, yeah, there's a possibility that Bowser maybe takes his aggressions out on his own people from time to time. Right? You think this guy, this one's Australian? I could see him having an Australian accent. Absolutely. Absolutely see him having an Australian accent. That could very well go down. Um, but yeah, I think there's a strong possibility that in this movie, in canon, Koopa is definitely taking, and we've seen, just for the record, in the old Super Mario Brothers cartoons, Bowser beats the shit out of his subjects. It does. We've seen it many times. So, um, clearly, he's, he's a tough general. Respected and feared, I think, is what we're seeing here, is what we're seeing in this shot. And I know I might be reading way too much into a fucking kid's movie, but I think that's what we're seeing. He's a respected general, and he's a feared general, the king of the Koopas. You know? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna back this shot up real quick. Hold on. 
I want you to watch the hair sway. Look at this hair sway. Alright, look at this hair sway. Look at the, the beautiful shoulder we got going on here. The wonderful armor. This angry face. And this spectacular Jack Black voice. Like, I thought we were getting... Open the gates! Okay, I thought we were getting Jack Black voice, like Jack Black, and I was happy about that, but holy fuck, this voice is perfect, this voice is fucking incredible, like I was happy about the Jack Black voice, like about him just sounding like Jack Black, like kind of a goofy Bowser, but this is in a whole different realm, and I'm so here for it. It is a more dangerous, more fearful Bowser than maybe we've ever had in the game, honestly. You know what I mean? This angry, look at this face. Look at this angry face. I need an emote of this. Look at this absolute, like, triangle of angry face. Yobi has a King Koopa voice and a goofy personal Bowser voice. That would make me very happy. Yeah. Because, I mean, I feel like Bowser has to have a little bit of goof, right? He traditionally has some goofiness. This Bowser fucks? Oh, absolutely, this Bowser fucks. Open the gates! Okay. Now, right here, everyone's thinking, like, oh, we're about to see Princess Peach. We're about to see, you know, one of the kings. We're about to see Toad, we're about to see an army of Toads, but no. The mother fucking king of the penguins, all right? And that means this has to take place somewhere in Mario 64 or new Super Mario Brother universe, you know, post that. So it's not a retelling of the original Mario Brothers movie or the original Mario Brothers game or Mario 3 or Mario World or anything else like that. It has to be in those that post setting or universal thing, you know? Or just a completely new timeline, that's fair. That's fair. Completely new timeline, but you get what I'm you get what I'm saying, you know what I mean? It's it's definitely like they're not limiting their characters to early Mario is what I'm saying. They're not limiting their characters to early Mario. Okay. Attack! Okay, now this is just a beautiful, amazing golden shot of the confidence of the penguins and also the badassery of one Bowser, King of the Koopas, okay? Bowser just sits here. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. We gotta, we gotta go back. We gotta go back real quick. Watch this look. Watch, watch this look when Bowser, when they pull the thing out, watch Bowser look. Yeah, watch Bowser look at it. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Yeah, watch Bowser's face. <laughs> He's like looking back. He's looking back to see if anyone else is, is bothered by this. This is a really good little animation. He's looking back to see if anyone else is bothered by it and then... <laughs> This poor, that poor Cooper right here. Uh, also, look at this blue shell. We got a blue shell right here with a spike. This is a good shot of some more Koopas here. Blue shell, spike helmet. Um, clearly, uh, got a, is this look like a cape of some sort? That guy's important. Everyone else has helmets, you see. Who's this fucker? Oh no, he's looking at the snow fall off his arm. <laughs> this is just adorable. This is an adorable scene. This is an adorable scene. Oh, oh, that was the guy that was to the left of the other. Oh, that's the eye patch guy. This, yeah, that is the eye patch guy. You're totally right. <laughs> he, he couldn't see it. That was actually really good animation too. He had to look over with his good eye. <laughs> that is but a taste of our fury. Do you yield? <laughs> <laughs> I do not.
A little disappointed we didn't get the PlayStation logo pop out right here. He lifted his eye patch? It's a fake eye patch? Taste of a Hold on. <laughs> he does lift the eye patch. He does lift the eye patch. You're absolutely right. He does lift the eye patch. That kind of makes it even better. He's just wearing it to be badass. I do not. That is but a taste of our fury. Okay, I love the penguin. The confidence of the penguin army and the penguin king is great. Do you yield? <laughs> I do not. Wish we would have got a little... I wish right there we would have got a... Like the PlayStation logo Kamek thing. But that's okay. Okay. Kamek upgraded his powers, clearly. Kamek has upgraded his powers. Uh, again, we have this spike army here. These spike army of Koopas. This looks like yellow Koopas. Which are, you know, they carry spears. It seems a little excessive. Bowser is possessing incredible powers. I finally found it. Okay. Now, here we go right here. A very Mario 64-esque power star. And he's saying he finally found it. I don't know if that means there's one, one per kingdom, or just like one in general. Um, and how this is going to give him power. Uh, but it does seem like it's a Mario 64 style star. I am unconvinced, though, chat, however, that this scene directly is directly preceded by our previous scene. I'm not sure that what we're seeing is in chronological order. I think this is not in the Penguin area. I feel like this is either the beginning of the movie or the end of the movie. I feel like this might be how he gets the power to move the island, possibly. Right? That's kind of how I feel. Uh, that he is going to turn into some sort of super Bowser. Yes. Or this is movie one of 120. That would be better. Yeah. I think that's a misleading part of the trailer. Myself. Yeah, more stars equals more power. And I think the chances of getting a Giga Bowser, some sort of massive gigantic Bowser, are high. Yes, I think they're they're high that we're going to see a bigger because even even right here, I don't feel like he might he doesn't really look as big as he did in the previous scene. Am I wrong? <laughs> I do not. It, like right here he looks like he went like this is like this is like, right here kind of looks. You yield? <laughs> this is like San Francisco. San Francisco Giants, Bowser. I finally and this it. kind of looks like Pittsburgh Pirate Bowser. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Who's gonna stop me? Okay. Okay. Now, something we can tell about Mr. Yasun. Thank you for 17 months. Something we can tell. Maybe they made the stars a bit bigger too. Listen, guys. Listen, listen. It doesn't matter how big the star is, okay? Now, who's gonna stop me? Right there, we get the 8-bit music. And, okay. Right off the bat, I think this is clearly showing that Mario is going to come from New York. He's going to be in New York and then come to the Mushroom Kingdom. We're going to have some sort of origin story to how Mario gets to the Mushroom Kingdom. Maybe New Donk City, possibly. Possibly, I mean, that, that might make sense why Donkey Kong's even in it. But wherever he's coming from, it's... He's going down a pipe and he's going to get flushed into the Mushroom Kingdom. A la the old Super Mario Brothers uh, TV show uh, with Lou Albano, the, the cartoon for that. Uh, second thing is these mushrooms 
are a lot softer than I thought they would be. They, they're, they're, I always picture these as like very kind of rock hard mushrooms, right? Look at this. It looks like a nice soft pillow. It looks like a very giant real mushroom, the way it reacts. Yeah. They're very plush looking. Yeah, they, they, they act and look like real mushrooms when he hits it, you know, like how a gigantic mushroom would act, you know? Okay. Now, here is, I think, the only thing I'm going to say that I'm not a 200,000% fan of so far. Okay? Uh, just for the record, this is beautiful. Love this little animation right here. Love all this. This is beautiful. Um, This Mario face... It's particularly right here, actually. Particularly right here. Has a bit of a Dr. Seuss movie vibe. More than the Nintendo Mario we already know and love. A little bit Bob Hoskins-y, yeah. I'm not mad. I'm, I don't... Like, it doesn't ruin the movie for me. I don't... I don't want to say it's the wrong move. It's, it's just very hard because we already have this idea of what Mario looks and sounds like a lot. And that's, what, that's what one thing that makes this movie very, very, very difficult to make in some ways. Is we already know what he looks like. And this face feels a little too human-like to me. However, he's clearly coming from a human area. Like, that's how they're playing this. He's clearly coming from a human area. And in the video games, I'm not sure he's human because, like, there's humans walking around New Donk City and Mario's clearly not one of them. Um, yeah, his face is a little... I need a little bit more belly, maybe, and a little bit more ass for this face. And also, can we talk about his giant hands? He's got, he's packing, you know what they say about a Mario with giant hands. Okay. Uh, his hat also, like, I don't want to say bad. I don't want to say bad at all, but it's different than what we're used to. I'm not going to say bad, but it's different. We need a side-by-side -side comparison. Oh, whoa, I don't know about that shot either. Hold on. Mario Odyssey. Actually, this is like a great, a great picture to bring out here. Yeah, it's, it's, his mouth is a little wide. I'd say he's missing the belly. He's definitely missing the belly. Just a little bit more realistic, you know what I mean? No dark mode? This is on my streaming computer, so I don't have it. And the eyes are different. I think the eyes might be the real big thing. It's the eyes, you know what I mean? The hat's fine. The hat's I don't yeah it well, I don't like I don't dislike the hat. It's just a like a slightly different style of hat. It's got a little bit more like poof right here than his normal hat. That's all. Oh, can't see the eyes of the circle. Oh, sorry. Can't see the eyes. Well, this isn't a great shot of his eyes anyway, but um He's like a little like He's a little thinner. Everything here is thinner. You know what I mean, I'd say? And then this is a little stretched out, I think, is what it is. Now, okay, going back to here, though. Going back to here. 
One thing I do want to absolutely fucking compliment is look at this mustache. Look at the individual hairs in this mustache. This mustache and the nose, primo, on point. The hair back here, beautiful, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Love this. Love this. This area, this area is absolutely primo. Yeah. Love this. It's a very, very dark brown, which I think is what it always is supposed to be. Yeah. Okay. This is kind of, this might be, it's a little bit better look. He does have kind of a fix it Felix. You're right. Whoever said fix it Felix earlier, that's the best way to put it. It looks like he got, he got boned by fix it Felix. His mom got boned by fix it Felix. That's kind of the best way to put it. Yeah. Especially with these. This look right here. Yeah. Also, clearly, one thing we can say, clearly worried. Does not know where he's at. Not a fan of, not a fan of this situation. We're just not really used to seeing his face emote. It kind of looks like a remodeled Fix-It Felix. The only thing is Fix-It Felix is Disney and this is Illumination, so. Fix-It Felix is a Mario stand in anyway. He is based off Mario, really. I mean, he is... That Wreck-It Ralph's based off Donkey Kong, so, yeah. Yeah, his eyes don't hit. Now, here's the real crime, and we've already talked about it. They've already talked about it right away. Where is Mario's junk in the trunk? He has... No ass at all. An absolute flatty right there. No cake to eat. He is leaving you with no cake. You're going to, you, get, you get home from the club. He did not back it up at all. Where is Mario's big, fat, juicy booty? Okay? Mario has got a great man ass. All right? This is ridiculous. He has nothing here. It looks like he's holding a chip up his ass that he's scared to break. Like he's like sucked it in. What is going on, Mario? Do some squats, bro. Get some crunches. Possibly because he hasn't been in the Mushroom Kingdom jumping around yet. He hasn't developed the proper posterior that he needs. But like what the actual fuck, Mario? Get some more ass. Where is your ass? Okay, bro? Can we agree with that? Okay, this shot's really good. I really like, you see the excessively tall platforming sections. Um, a lot of mushrooms, though. I'm interested to see, like, how power mushrooms are going to come into play. Like, I wouldn't, this, I guess this is the Mushroom Kingdom. Like, right here, you see, this looks like a little, like, cave area or something. You can enter enter back here. Like, another one of these guys, you know? Like a little castle, another one of these areas. We've never had a level like this, really, in Mario history. I'll say that. There's, I mean, we've had levels with lots of mushroom platforms, but not like necessarily like this, you know? Cascade Kingdom, debatable. I would say that's the closest thing, but there's definitely not this many mushrooms in Cascade uh, Kingdom. Um, so yeah, I'm very, very cure, uh, very, very curious about where cure, very, very curious about where they're going uh, with this. But I'm assuming this is outside of the actual Mushroom Kingdom is what we're looking at. You know, ironically, this looks like the end of the Sonic movie too. <laughs> Is he supposed to eat these? Like, what if he eats this one? Is it more than this one? Does he get bigger than this one? But have that one. Does he get small if he eats that one? This is sick. We got some water. Looks like cheap cheeps in this water. Am I wrong? Those look like little cheap cheeps. You can't really tell. They're either cheap cheeps or magic harps. Yeah. Yeah, they're either cheap cheeps or magic carps. 
I'm a gonna assume cheap cheeps. Sony Slave, thank you for 32 months. I really, really appreciate you. I hope everything's going good today. Um, yeah, we're talking about some cheap cheeps in there. So there's danger. Uh, looks like we have another one of those kind of like a, this looks like a cave system over here, chat. I mean, but mushrooms everywhere. There's a, tr just a tremendous amount of mushrooms. There's a gargantuan amount of mushrooms, you know? Yeah. What is Got a little belly right here, though. Yeah, even look at it. Are this, is this a collar? Is this a collar on Mario's shirt? Is that a collar? Maybe that's what's throwing me off. We might, the more I look at it, this does look like small Mario, not Super Mario. Does that make sense? What is this place? The voice is good. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I'm just going to say it. The voice is good. You can hear it's Chris Pratt, but it's a good voice. It's a good voice. It's just fine. It's just fine. It's not going, it's a me, a Mario. That would have annoyed me over a whole movie. I think, the, I think the voice is absolutely fine. I think the voice is just, I, I don't think it's a, do I think it's the greatest sounding voice? I don't think we could have done Charles Marinet, the whole Charles Marinero. We couldn't have done them all, all the whole movie. I think the voice is absolutely fine. I think it's, it, it's not a 10. It's not a, it's not a 10 for 10 like Bowser. No, no, no. Not a 10 for 10 like Bowser. But somewhere, somewhere, I'm going to give it a, a solid six, soft seven. It's not going to pull me out of the story. This shot looks here. It looks like he lost his belly all of a sudden. Yeah, the collar. I, I think it's the collar, chat. I really don't like the collar, actually. I know that's a weird thing to let bother me, but yeah, the collar is not. Yeah, you love the collar? You need some chest hair? Yeah, the undone button on the collar. I don't know. Yeah, his, fa his face is a little strange. This, okay. This is good. This is too, a little too fix it, Felix, but it's not. That's not going to ruin the movie for me. I feel, I feel like if this is the big thing I'm nitpicking, uh, this is a pretty fucking solid trailer. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like it's a pretty fucking solid trailer. Yeah, the eyes are a little awkward and the hat isn't perfect, but. That's also just because we know what Mario looks like. You know, we already have in our head what Mario looks like. Do not touch that mushroom, you'll die! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that one's perfectly fine. Come on! Okay. Do not touch that mushroom, you'll die! Oh. Toad is perfect. Yeah. Yo, what's going on, Automated? Uh, Toad is absolutely... The voice, the Toad voice, King of Michael Key, is so perfect. Exactly how you picture Toad sounds in your head, right? Annoyingly perfect like he's so, supposed to be. Definitely got the Captain Toad vibes going on here. The full Captain Toad vibes. Um, I feel like this is... You know, this is not a poison mushroom. Those are the purple ones. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that one's... All right. Toad looks perfect. Yeah. Can't say anything bad about Toad. Does anyone have anything, any critique about Toad? I have nothing, I have nothing bad to say about Toad. Yeah. It seems like it's Captain Toad. His backpack's cute. Are we going to find out? Is it a hat? This certainly looks like a hat, right? Look, the, look at the gap right here. It looks like a hat, not a hair. <laughs> yeah, it certainly looks like a hat. 
I hope I hope he takes off his hat at some point and has a bag of weed under a chat. I would I would lose my shit. I'd be like, oh my god, they watch our stream. You want a little hair on the chest? Stop sexualizing Toad, you pervert. <laughs> Yeah. Why not shrooms? A little, oh, if he had mushrooms underneath there, that would make more sense. Yeah, that would make way more sense. Uh, yeah. Loving everything about Toad. Really got nothing bad to say about Toad. Faithful to the game. This is a very Captain Toad-like look, you know? It's perfectly fine. Come on, Mario! Okay. I'm assuming they skip a little bit here, and he's like, I'm Mario. Mario's clearly confused, does not know where he, where he is or why he's there. Luigi hasn't gotten there yet, I'm assuming, right? Raffles, thank you for 17 months. Luigi hasn't gotten there yet, clearly, like Mario came on his own. Yeah, he's thinking he's on the shrooms. Uh, okay. Also, I'm sorry. Not a pro jumper yet. Perfectly fine. Come on, Mario. Mushroom Kingdom here. Uh, so as you see clearly outside the Mushroom Kingdom and right here is our beautiful Mushroom Kingdom castle. I didn't notice that actually the first time cuz I was just looking at Mario and Toad um toad capable platformer in here we got more platforming areas right here lots of little mountains love to see it uh looks like they're gonna platform their way all the way over and platform their way up to the mushroom kingdom now something i want to point out here does it not look like this castle is going to take off like a rocket ship at some point um in fact if i could it kind of looks like a galaga ship or like one of the penis ships that like uh, Dr. Evil shoots out of um, in the Austin Powers series. Yeah. Totally got rocket boosters. Um, seems like we're seems like the floating fortress might be a theme in this version of Mario. Uh, Zelda's Cooch, thank you for 22 months. Hades, Dark G, thank you for 10 months. Raffles, thank you so much. Kind of looks like the Batman symbol. Yeah, that's another thing. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe Mario. Maybe they go to Mario Galaxy. 8D Castle. They left area for Bowser to land right over here. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you're totally right. <laughs> yeah, this is like a perfect area for Bowser to land right there. You're totally, totally either there or right inside here. Either one would work. Yeah. Right inside here, crushing all the mushrooms. Yeah, I think it's definitely a musical. Yeah, I've heard it's definitely a musical. Whatever. Sing some songs. I don't give a fuck. I bet they're dank. I bet the songs are good. I reckon Mario has any double shell jumps in the film. I bet they don't have a shell jump in the film. No. Uh, End dog. Thank you for 30 months. Um, Something I actually want. What is this right there? Hold on. Can we zoom in? That's like a... I'm not sure what that is. I guess we can't zoom in here. But what is this fucker? Look at that thing. This looks like a purple dinosaur. Yeah. Like a toad house? I don't know. There's a lot of interesting... There's some. There's definitely like buildings right here. It's like all mushrooms there. But this is like buildings of some sort. So curious to what's out there. Curious if there's stuff on any of these islands or anything. But... Floating islands, you see them. They exist. Hardcore platforming. You love to see Mario run and jump in a movie. Here we come. Uh, love it. Love the logo. Love the logo. Good logo. This does look like a very, oh, they put him, look, they put him in here. That's so cool. They put him in there. Oh, I wonder if he did Kamek. He kind of sounded like Kamek, actually. No, he didn't. Damn. 
Cam. That's great. I'm glad they put him in there, though. That's really awesome. They put him in, um, like, the this moment right here. That just makes me happy. Does that make sense? Like, I'm glad they acknowledge in the opening here the man who's played Mario for most people's entire lives. You know what I mean? I think that's really, really great. I really, really love that. Yeah. Kevin Michael Richardson's Kamek? Okay. Oh, right. Now let's back up here. Hey, these, uh... We got Luigi coming in somewhere. Charlie Day, voice. Already sounds like a great Luigi, though. Okay, we've got tons of dry bones all over. Possessed dry bones. Okay, this is some sort of haunted woods area. Um, okay, we're going into castle. Now look at this castle. That's a Bowser. See, that's a Bowser thing on top of the castle. So wherever this is has been ravaged by Bowser. Yeah, it's a fort. Oh, sorry. It's a fort. Because uh, there's such a gigantic difference between a fort and a castle. A little platforming. A little platforming here. Yeah. So he's got to close it. Luigi, on the other hand, for Mario, primo. Uh, Charlie Day sounds a, it sounds like Charlie Day. But yeah, I really, really like the Luigi look. Also, again, though, gigantic hands. Yeah, gigantic hands. Really disappointing take from the all forts world record holder. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, Luigi's long face. Luigi looks really good, in my opinion. Uh, April 7th. All right. Now, what's the problem is I'm doing a subathon during that time. So I don't know. How I'm, I got to figure that one out. Yeah, I got to figure that one out. Um, see it in real 3D? No, thank you. Um, but yeah. Looks good. I want to thank all of you. Looks good, chat. Looks good. I mean, I can't, I can't front. It looks good. It looks good. Right? Dude does, yes, this dude also has pretty eyes. Beautiful blue eyes. Yeah, it does. It looks good. I um I I was excited about it already, but now I am is super super pumped. I'm I'm actually like very 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 excited, very 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 promising. Um Yeah, I think it I think it looks great. You want to watch it one more time from the top? All right, let's watch it one more time from the top. Let's watch it one more time from the top. All the way through. Thank you, Chris San, Jack San. All right, then. Thank you all for waiting. Yeah, let's do it. Let's press the start button. Stage of fake death. Uh, Chris Pratt, you know what? I was expecting a horrid voice from Chris Pratt. What I got, I'm pleasantly surprised about. Expecting a two, got a six, yeah. <laughs> it does, it's a, Bowser's got a, a bit of scariness to him, yeah. Yeah. Bowser's got a bit of scariness to him, I like it. I like it. But a taste of our fury. Do you yield? <laughs> I hope the penguins are um, are in it more than this. I finally found it. 
Now who's gonna stop me? I feel like that's the beginning of the movie. Cheap cheeps. What is this place? Nah, yeah, I don't hate it, Chad. I, I don't hate it. Do I mean, we don't hear a lot of him. Oh, I'm sorry. But I don't hate that it. one's perfectly fine. Come on, Mario! Mushroom Kingdom, here we come. Okay, maybe I hate it a little bit more. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I want to thank all of you for being part Star on top of that pipe? Where? I didn't see a star on top of the pipe. I know, they need to give him some ass though. The poor flat, flat-butted guy, yeah. It is hard to tell. The pipe that flies out of nowhere? Where? Oh, a star emblem above the pipe. I see. Oh, yeah, you're right. That star emblem above the pipe. Mm. Yeah, I think the voice is fine. It's not. It doesn't knock my socks off, but it's not going to ruin a movie for me. And here's the thing. Do not touch that mushroom. You'll die. If me not being like again, perfectly fine. Come on, Mario. I feel like this trailer's hitting pretty good to where you know. We're nitpicking a little bit. We're nitpicking a little bit. It's the same. Listen, I think Breath of the Wild is like a fucking 10 out of 10 game, and I nitpick it all the time. <laughs> you hate the teeth I on Toad? Thank all of uh, I, I, I don't care enough about Toad. I thought, I thought that we're nitpicking over here. We're nitpicking over here. I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty fucking excited, chat. Um, I am not going to front. I am incredibly stupid excited. Um, I would like to, I would like to see this. Yes, I would like to see this. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what else to say other than I, my hype. My hype is is high for this, you know what I mean? And uh, yeah. Coming out Easter weekend. Well, ho, 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 ho. I got to buy my tickets now. Luigi will meet ghosts. The Penguin King will remind you of Lance Riddick. <laughs> didn't expect it over an hour of breakdown. You didn't expect an hour of breakdown for a minute and a half of footage? Just wait till the whole movie comes out. <laughs> Yeah, just wait till the whole movie comes out. I think the end credit scene will set up the Donkey Kong movie. Because I've heard that's what's next is Donkey Kong movie. So, yeah. Have I heard the French Mario dub, though? No. You want to see them drop a penguin off a cliff like Mario 64? Fucked up, man. Oh, he's upset it doesn't come out till April. Poor kid. Stomping on Koopas. He had to think about it. You hope there's a warp zone about 20 minutes in that takes you straight to the ending of the movie. I wish we would have heard Seth Rogen's Donkey Kong. That's that's the one thing I wish is we would have got like a, a look at Peach, a look at Donkey Kong, you know? Your conspiracy theory. You don't think there'll be Goombas in the movie. They're, um... Okay, I kind of, I'm kind of leaning, actually, there might not be any Goombas in the movie, actually. Uh, they're definitely not in King Koopa's army, Goombas. And I found it weird. It seemed like that's what Chris Pratt was going to say in the beginning of the trailer. Oh, I spent all my time stomping on Goombas, but he didn't say, then he, then he said Koopas because there's no Goombas in the movie. 
Yeah. Do I think there'll be Grindles in the movie? I think there'll be a Grundle. <laughs> it's possible. It's possible. Is Bowser going to invade Donkey Kong Island? I don't know how that's going to work. Yeah. Your money's on there being a Bowser movie. You can make a Mario RPG movie. Uh, Sutton tonight. Uh, I would go Olive. Olive has been playing good. He was talking about the arcade game. Fair. He was talking about the arcade game at his local laundromat. Yeah. Apparently, Mario's voice at New York Comic Con elicited no reaction from the audience. I think that's a fair reaction, though. I feel like no reaction is exactly the reaction I have for Mario's voice. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's not, it's not spectacular. It's fine. Yeah. There wasn't enough of the voice for me to make. And even what it was, he kind of was whispering a little bit. So there wasn't enough of the voice for me to make a, get a, fir a really solid opinion about it. Like I need him to go like, let's -a go or something like that. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, I think that's fine. Bowser's voice was dank. Like, I think we all agree. I mean, there might be a strong chance that this is a Bowser movie featuring Mario. Yeah, you couldn't have Charles Charles Marinet, uh do it. It just would have been... It would have been too much. Wahoo! It would have been too much. I mean, like, let's be real. Like, there's a reason that... Mario doesn't voice act much in the games that he only says a few words from time to time, you know? Um, but I'm really stoked they put him on the, like, lead credits. I thought that was really, really cool. Yeah, I thought that was, like, a cool thing for them to do. You know? You have a feeling Mario won't be saying much in this movie either? I mean, how much do you really need Mario to talk? Like, is Mario... Mario doesn't need to talk a ton. Yeah. And before Pratt voices him in games going forward with real dialogue, uh, I feel like that's an expensive actor for a video game, dude. Yeah. Yeah, dude's a legend. I, I, I'm really excited about that one. That one's going to be good. <laughs> Uh, probably does the let's goes in between. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, he doesn't even voice Star-Lord in the games, I was going to say. Do I think they'll make a game of the movie? Uh, no idea, but someone should make a ROM hack of the movie. Someone should absolutely make a ROM hack of the movie. That would be, that would be really, really, really funny. Uh, the teaser trailer is quite hype. I agree. I agree. I thought I, I mean, I, I would see it if it looked like ass. I would see it if it would have been a fucking claymation, you know, animated thing. Um, so, I mean, I, I, I'm, I was definitely going to see it no matter what. Why did, what just happened to my monitor? Oh, that was weird. Monitors turned off randomly, but the animation looks crisp. The animation looks great. Um, Bowser looked great. Love the hair. The hair actually in all of it looked great. The Koopas looked great. I kind of like that. Interested to know about uh the badass Koopa. The penguins were adorable, funny. The snow looked great, dripping off Bowser. The animation, primo. Um, Doug, the what they did with the Mushroom Kingdom, I th I thought that looked fine. Thought that was, you know good for the movie not like game accurate but it's fine for the movie you know what i mean oh it's, it's so good having my wife home yeah me and my me and my son slept in till nine in the morning he slept in our bed last night we slept in till nine in the morning and i uh and then we had a tickle fight and it was just good good morning good morning uh he had a babysitter this morning so me and my wife got to go out to breakfast and just having a little time with each other uh yeah it's just great no, I haven't yet. I, not yet trouble Wi-Fi. I've been with my, literally with my son. Yeah, literally with my son. Uh, have I broke down the movie poster? No, I didn't really break down the poster yet. Yo, Mario defeats butt, uh, Bowser with a single butt slide. Uh, yeah, 
I don't think that's good. It seems like a good movie for kids too. Yeah, I think I think that I there was enough where it definitely felt like kind of adult right there, right? Yeah. Yeah, the direct ends right out of the trailer pretty much. They had 45 minutes of waiting. It's like a seven minute direct. Yeah, there's really nothing else. Yeah, there's some hardcore scenes, yeah. Waiting for the watch the Mario movie speedrun any percent. <laughs> I'm hyped, yeah. Movie should have released March 10th. Missed opportunity. Incur. This is for 40-year-old kids. Yeah, I mean, I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be worth it. I think it's going to be worth watching. So, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. Nothing really else to say about it, except I'm excited. Um, uh, You wanted to speak like you did in Superstar Saga? Mario, March 10th is a Friday? Oh, they should have done that. The movie does well. Zelda should get a live action next. Zelda should be a Netflix series. Zelda should be a series, and each season is uh, covers one game. Basically tells the story of one of the games, okay? Hear me out. Each season tells the story of one of the games. And then you, next season, you recast Link, you recast Zelda. You recast Ganon, but you keep, like, some of the side characters, you know, like Impa or things like that. Those characters are the same. I'm just saying that would bang. That would bang. Yeah, one season you can even do animated. Metroid should could be a live action gritty show. I think too. Yeah, I actually think Metroid could be super gritty live action. I think Metroid could actually work in a as a Mandalorian style show in a lot of ways with almost contained adventures from time to time with bigger overarching plots and fuck you want to get really Mandalorian, you could have the second season be Sam is taking care of the baby Metroid. Just saying. Yes. I think that would absolutely work. After what they did to Halo, you wouldn't be too optimistic about Metroid. Yeah, but here's the difference. Uh, Metroid still can make a good video game, and Halo sucks now. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Live action Samus is going to be hot. Live action Samus would have to be someone who's both badass and sexy. Yes, they would need all of it at one time. You know what I mean? They got to hit it all. Who would I cast as? Samus, um, I think there's two options. If you go like completely badass, I like um, Brienne from Game of Thrones. Actually, I think she would work in the role. Longer hair, you know, kind of big. If you go like that route with Samus, I think Ruby Rose actually would work look wise, but I don't think she's like a great actress. Um, but I think she kind of has a look wise that could work. Jennifer Lawrence, it actually could work. Yeah, yeah, that one could work. Um. Scarlett Johansson, eh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Michelle Rodriguez. Like, Fast and Furious Michelle Rodriguez. She might be a little old for the role now. I think it depends on how tall Samus is. I, in my mind, I picture Samus being pretty tall. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's why, yeah, Gwendolyn Christie plays Brianna Tarth. That's, uh, like, right off the bat, she's, like, one. And if you, you know, like, I don't know if y'all ever seen her on red carpets, but 
Yeah, she she'd be she'd be just fine. She'd be just fine. Can't we just get Margot Robbie? You know what? Never gonna say no to that. But that is that is my own personal man madness. Never saying no to that. Just for the record, that is my own personal madness that we will never say no to Margot Robbie. Nope. Nope. Never. I would never say no. Mm hmm. Doesn't matter. She can play whatever. Danny DeVito as Samus? Danny DeVito as a Metroid actually would work. Yeah. I feel like you'd want to go with like kind of a younger actress for Samus, too, though. Or maybe someone kind of in their like late 20s to kind of like get older and grizzled if you were going to franchise it. You know what I mean? Danny DeVito is mother brain. Anna Taylor Joy is already in the in the Nintendo family, right? <laughs> yeah. She's already in the Nintendo family, so. That was kind of lit spike. Yeah. Yeah, there's Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie. I don't think Brie Larson... Brie Larson is kind of too nice. She She has a face that looks very nice to me all the time. Like, even when Brie Larson looks mad, like, she doesn't look too, like... You know, does that make sense? Where I feel like we need a almost like someone with a bit of a bit of resting anger face, you know what I mean? To play Samus. Allison Brie actually might work. Yeah, Allison Brie I could see work. She seems taller too, Allison Brie. She does seem taller, but I could be completely wrong and I'm just making that up in my own head. Yeah. She's like 5'2". <laughs> she seems taller to me. T2 era Linda Hamilton? Yeah, that would have been that would have been primo. Yeah, actually I wouldn't mind Daisy Ridley. Yeah, she would be horrible. But I'm unconvinced that Daisy Ridley is a good actress. Florence Pugh could work too, actually. Yeah, Florence Pugh would be really good. Yeah, okay. That one might be my new favorite in this, in this situation. Because I'm thinking of someone, you want to have someone like, because in my mind, right, you do Metroid, you do a Metroid movies, right? They're kind of, they would kind of do the Metroid Prime thing. And I think you would need a lot of time to pass in between those movies almost. Was the trailer good? Very much. Very, very, very much. I liked the trailer a lot. Yeah. The Brianna Tarth, yeah, she she's kind of my her and Florence Pugh, I I think would both be good for me. But watch the new Wednesday Adams trailer? No. No. Who's who's in the Wednesday Adams trailer? Yes, we already said we won't say no to Margot Robbie. <laughs> All right, chat. Thursday night football is about to start. Don't forget you can watch on Twitch. Prime, uh, I completely went. Alexa, stop. Um, we, we got Tooth Pete coming on. Uh, tonight. Uh, which is fun. Tooth Pete's going to bring us all the stats, all the excitement, all the good stuff. Um, I'm really, really excited. Tooth Pete is great. Um, yeah, Tooth Pete's great. I, I very, very, very much like him. Are we getting a Doug Doug raid? Are we getting a Doug Doug raid right here? Doug Doug, Doug Doug, Mario gets divorced. Well, uh, chat, if you're coming in from the Doug Doug raid right now, uh, you're perfect time to watch Thursday night football with us because that's what we do here on Thursday nights. We watch Thursday night football.